So today we're going to answer the old age question. Can you catch a cod on cat food? What old question is that, mate? <laughs> never never... That one before, anyway. <laughs> it's not an old question and it's never been done but there's been cod showing and just thought it'd be a great video of a course a course of cod on some cat food <laughs> so let's give it a go <laughs> I've literally been here for two minutes. Stay still, mate. Nice one, that like, innit? <laughs> Straight away. Look at him. Two minutes it was in. Not even two minutes. Put it back on the net, let it go. Right, on to the next. Here we are everyone, it's my first of the day. Sorry, it hasn't even started to flood yet. There's a nice little starry. Well, do you reckon about four pounds? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, might, might make five just to tickle my ego. Much smaller than Lee's was. But there we go, that wasn't caught on cat food. Uh, we're gonna be putting the cat food out in a minute. See what we can catch, right, let's get them back. So the venue we're at is Cod Corner. So if you don't know where you know it is, I'll put a, a little Google map symbol up there as you can see got the lovely river there in the background i'll flip this around now and show you so as you can see it's called cod corner because it's literally a corner on out there there's the beautiful view of a liverpool skyline there and over there there's your liver beds right there if you're into liverpool there's two of the live birds. So when you're fishing here, it's very snaggy. And if you get further out, it's quite deep. So this is why they call it Cod Corner, because this is where the cod seems to hang out. Like I say, there's been a couple of cod caught. Uh, it was actually last night, to be fair, and they were up to three pound. So it was a very early rush. The cod fishing last year was absolutely horrendous. So hopefully this year, it'll be much better. And hopefully I'll catch a cod on some cat food. Conga rod going. There's the result of the conga. He's ravaged me mackerel. I just think it's time to get the cat food out. Lee's looking at me like I'm an absolute helmet. Yep. Ooh, it smells coddy, that, you know. <laughs> so we're going for Felix salmon and trout in jelly. So, <laughs> so right, we've got some nice big chunks. Look at that, that's great, that. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to put four chunks on. I'm going to band it on with elastic so it stays on. I'm also going to put a worm bait out and a crab bait with it, using a three-hook flapper. So we'll see how it gets on. You start catching on cat food, I'm changing over, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I do, you know. It is the age-old question, Lee. I reckon there's no age-old question. Do you reckon I'll catch on it? Yeah. I reckon you get a rock one. Look at that, it goes on perfect, that. The ground bait in there. That actually goes on perfectly. I don't know if you can see that there, but... Just band it on with a lathe. I'll stick to my peel crab. <laughs> Falling to 
deep out there, like, isn't it? Yeah, really. Proper deep, that. There we go. Expect greatness, and greatness will happen. On the cat food. On the cat food. Well, it's possible ray, hound, and cod bait out there, mate. Salmon, mate. The ingredients of it. Bet there's actually no salmon or cod in it. <laughs> I'm gone. Here's it. Content, moisture. <laughs> moisture. 83.5 percent it actually has got no actual salmon or trout in it yeah look. i'm not surprised it's acp <laughs> it's got some copper magnesium sulfate crude ash yes yeah, so there's actually no salmon and trout in there it made from then <laughs> <laughs> Smells like that bird I had the other night. <laughs> Another nice hound there. Nice story. Well, the lights finally come up now. We've had three smoothies. I uh, missed the conga. Cat food doesn't seem to be doing much, to be honest. Didn't think it would. But we've still got it out. We still might catch a cod on some cat food. So we're going to give it another go for what? Probably another two hours, maybe hour and a half. But 20 minutes, yeah, looking at the clock there, 20 minutes before high water. So we'll get an hour of the ebb. And hopefully we'll get a bit more. Keep you updated. And here's a wasp in his natural territory eating his natural food source, the bin sandia. Well, time's up, bring it in. Unfortunately, no cod today. It is very early and uh, the cat food didn't seem to do the trick. What do you reckon, Lee? Cat food next time? Yeah, maybe you try a different flavour, chicken or something. <laughs> chicken cat food next. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel. The links will be in the section below. So have a little look at them, check them out. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yo, son Felix!